Greetings and thank you once again for another day where we could spend some time in God's Word and prayer together. This week we've been focusing on the theme, Still I Will Praise Him. And we are talking about learning to praise God even in difficult situations. Even in situations that we don't understand, we still praise Him. Today I want to place before you another reason why we still praise God in times that are hard and difficult and things that we are going through, things we don't understand, can't explain. We wonder where is God or why isn't He doing something? Isaiah 61 verse 3 says that by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the servant of the Lord will console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that He may be glorified. The reason you and I can still praise God and when, when things are really difficult is because we are confident that God will give us beauty for ashes. Maybe you're in a situation or we find ourselves in a situation that it's in ashes, it's burned down, it's ruined. Maybe it's a situation in your business or in a, a financial deal or something in your life where things have been ruined, it's, it's brought down to ashes. And in the middle of it, you and I can still praise God because we know that God is able to turn those ashes into beauty. He gives beauty for ashes. He's able to beautify that. He's able to turn that around. So no matter how despairable the situation might be, no matter how difficult the situation might be, God is able to turn things around and He's able to give us beauty for ashes. That's the confidence we have. And that's why in the middle of situations like that, we can still say, I will still praise you, my God. I will yet praise you. I will yet honor you. I will yet glorify you. Because I know, God, that this situation, you can still change. You can still turn around. We may not know how. We we may not be able to explain how he's going to do it or when exactly it's going to happen. But we know he will do it. And because if we have that confidence, we can still praise Him. Let's take a moment to pray and praise our God together. Father, we praise You that no matter what we're going through, no matter what our situations look like today, we honor You, we glorify You. We still praise You, knowing that You are the God who gives beauty for ashes. That no matter what our situations look like today, you can beautify them. You can make something great and wonderful come out of our life situations. And with that confidence, God, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.